Dissertation, the translation of Abba to Pater to Father, exploring the impact of intimate address on divine relationship and worship. Abstract. This dissertation investigates the implications of translating the Aramaic term, Abba, into Greek as, Pater, and subsequently into English as, Father. It focuses on early Christian texts such as Romans 8 verse 15 and Galatians for verse 6, examining how these translations adapt the intimate relational dynamics of the original Aramaic term while maintaining its theological significance. Additionally, the study explores the impact of using Abba Shemayim Kardosh Shalara instead of the traditionally translated Our Father Who Art in Heaven, offering insights into how a more intimate address might enhance our relationship with the Divine. Chapter 1 Introduction 1.1 1. 1 Background The translation of the Aramaic term, Abba, which conveys a deeply personal and intimate relationship, into Greek as, Pater, and then into English as, Father, represents a significant shift in how God is addressed. While, Abba, implies a close, familial bond, Pater, and Father, introduce different layers of cultural and linguistic connotations. This dissertation examines these transitions and their impact on the relational and theological understanding of God in early Christian contexts. 1.2 Objectives The primary objectives are to analyze the translation process from Abba to Pater and Father, assess their impact on early Christian theology, and explore how using Abba Shemayim Kardosh Shalara could restore the intimate nature of the original term, enriching our spiritual practice and understanding of divine relationship. Chapter 2, Aramaic Context, The Meaning of Abba 2.1 Linguistic Roots Abba is an Aramaic term that signifies father with profound personal intimacy. The letters in Abba reflect an ancient understanding of familial closeness. Aleph represents the beginning, strength, and leadership. Bed denotes a house or dwelling, symbolizing the personal and familial aspect of the relationship. Aleph reiterates the leadership and nurturing qualities. This term, similar to daddy in English, implies both love and respect and is used by children to address their fathers with a sense of closeness and trust. In Jewish and early Christian prayer practices, Abba underscores the personal nature of the relationship with God, portraying him as a nurturing and caring figure. 2.2 Theological Implications In Jewish tradition, Abba reflects a personal connection with God, characterized by both reverence and affection. This term, found in various prayers and texts, emphasizes God's role as a loving Father who provides and cares for His people. Its use in Christian contexts highlights an intimate and relational approach to God, illustrating a shift from a distant deity to a close, personal Father. Chapter 3, Greek Context, The Meaning of, Pater 3.1 Linguistic Roots Pater is the Greek term for father. Although it covers a broad range of paternal roles, from authoritative to nurturing, its letters convey. Pi, Pi suggests the idea of a figure who is foundational and supportive. Alpha, Alpha symbolizes the beginning or primary importance. Teta indicates a connection to time and tradition. Rho, Rho reflects stability and leadership. While, Pater, denotes a paternal figure, it does not inherently carry the same level of personal intimacy as Abba. In Greek culture, pater includes both formal and relational aspects of fatherhood but lacks the deep, personal connection implied by Abba. 3.2 Theological and Cultural Adaptation In Greek-speaking Christian communities, pater adapted the concept of God as father to fit within Greek linguistic and cultural frameworks. Although it retains the essential meaning of father, it does not fully capture the personal intimacy of Abba. This adaptation was necessary to communicate the concept of divine fatherhood in a manner that resonated with Greek cultural norms. Chapter 4, Translation Process, Adapting, Abba, to, Pater, to Father. For point 1 Translation Challenges. The translation of, Abba, into, Pater, and subsequently into Tfathat involved navigating significant cultural and linguistic differences. The challenge was to convey the intimate, personal nature of the original term while making it comprehensible to Greek and English-speaking audiences. Balancing theological accuracy with effective linguistic adaptation was crucial in preserving the relational essence of the divine address. 
for point two preservation of intimacy. Despite the variations in connotation, the translations aim to preserve the sense of personal relationship between God and believers as conveyed by Abba. Pater sought to retain this sense in Greek, and Father continued this tradition in English. Each stage of translation worked to maintain the relational essence of divine fatherhood while adapting to new cultural contexts. Chapter 5 Theological Implications of Using Abba Shemayim Kardosh Shalara 5.1 Intimacy and Reverence Combined The phrase, Abba Shemayim Kardosh Shalara, integrates both intimate and formal aspects of addressing God. By using Abba in combination with Shemayim, heaven, and Kardosh Shalara, your holiness, this formulation respects the divine's majesty while acknowledging a personal connection. The term Abba maintains a close, familial bond, while Shemayim and Kardosh Shalara emphasize God's transcendent nature and holiness. 5.2 Practical Considerations for Worship Adopting Abba Shemayim Kardosh Shalara in worship practices could deepen the personal and spiritual experience of prayer. Revised liturgies, updating liturgical texts to include Abba Shemayim Kardosh Shalara could align worship with the intimate yet reverent approach suggested by T.R. Ross. Educational initiatives, teaching about the significance of this phrase could enhance believers' understanding of its relational and theological implications. Liturgical integration, incorporating this address into various aspects of worship could foster a richer, more personal engagement with God. 5.3 Theological and Spiritual Benefits Using Abba Shemayim Kardosh Shalara could Enhance intimacy, restore a sense of personal connection with God. Maintain reverence, preserve a balanced view of divine holiness and majesty. Promote engagement, encourage more sincere and heartfelt prayer practices. Chapter 6, Conclusion 6.1 Summary of Findings The use of Abba Shemayim Kardosh Shalara, instead of the traditional Our Father Who Art in Heaven, reflects a more nuanced approach to divine address. It integrates the personal intimacy of Abba with the respect and reverence due to the divine, enhancing both the relational and theological dimensions of prayer. 6.2 Implications for Worship Practice Implementing Abba Shemayim Kardosh Shalara in worship could significantly enrich the spiritual experience by fostering a deeper, more personal connection with God while maintaining a sense of His divine majesty. 6.3 Future Directions Future research could explore the impact of this phrase across various Christian traditions and cultural contexts, examining how it influences prayer practices and theological understanding globally. References Ross, T.R. The Third Testament This dissertation provides a comprehensive analysis of the impact of translating Abba to Pater and Father and the potential benefits of using Abba Shemayim Kardosh Shalara in worship highlighting the importance of intimate and respectful divine address in enhancing spiritual practice and understanding.